Uh, we also talk about another important canonical form representation uh, that is the diagonal canonical form. Uh, to uh, demonstrate this procedure, we again start with the same transfer function and uh, we write, rewrite this transfer function uh, in another format now to obtain diagonal canonical form representation. Uh, we, uh, basically, we have factorized this polynomial. Uh, so that is s plus 2, s plus 3, s plus 4. We have factorized this denominator polynomial over here. And uh, next, uh, we obtain partial fraction expansion that is given over here. So this transfer function is equal to this expression. You already know the procedure to obtain this partial fraction expansion. Uh, you can uh, verify by adding all these terms that you finally again get the same transfer function. So this transfer function is rewritten in this particular format. That is, uh, we had this transfer function, uh, we have uh, rewritten it in this particular format. Uh, u of s multiplied by uh, this transfer function and uh, u of s multiplied by this transfer function, u of s multiplied by this transfer function. You get uh, these three signals and add them to get y of s. So to obtain diagonal canonical form representation, we give these signals some new names. This signal is named as x1, this signal is named as x2, and this signal is named as x3. We have defined these state variables. <laughs> state variables are not unique. We can de define them in several different ways. We have uh, studied two different techniques uh, already, controllable canonical form and observable canonical form. This is another approach. Uh, what we have done is we have uh, obtained partial fraction expansion of this transfer function and uh, represented it in block diagram given these signals some new names that is x1, x2 and x3. That is uh, x1 uh, divided by u that is given by this transfer function and uh, which can be rearranged to write in this particular form. We have simply <coughs> rearranged uh, this expression to uh, write it in this form. Simply this s multiplied by x1 of s, this term is written over here, this 2 multiplied by x1 of s, that is brought to the right hand side and minus 4 into u of s is written over here. Likewise, uh, x2 divided by u, that is given by this transfer function and we can also rearrange to write it in a similar way. The third transfer function, this can also be re uh, rewritten in this particular format. So we have uh, these uh, equations uh, which describe the same system in different way. Uh, we can take the inverse Laplace transform of these equations to uh, write them in time domain. So uh, the inverse Laplace transform of this equation is written over here, s multiplied by x1 of s. It uh, inverse Laplace transform is x1 dot minus 2 x1 minus 4 u that is written over here. Likewise, inverse Laplace transform of this equation is written over here and uh, inverse Laplace transform of this equation is written over here. We have these uh, three state equations which describe this transfer function uh, and we can write these state equations in matrix form as well. Uh, and uh, this is the state space uh, representation, matrix form representation of these state equations and the output uh, y is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 that is written over here, y is equal to x1 uh, plus x2 plus x3. This particular uh, canonical form representation is called diagonal canonical form representation. Uh, you have uh, uh, the system matrix is a diagonal matrix with uh, these, uh, uh, these are basically, you will see that uh, uh, these uh, values are the poles, these values are the poles of this transfer function. What are poles? Poles uh, are uh, at s equal to minus 2, s equal to minus 3 and s equal to minus 4. 
minus 2, minus 3, minus 4. Poles of this transfer function appear on the diagonal uh, of diagonal entries are uh, zeros. All, all of them are zeros. This particular uh, state space representation is called diagonal canonical form representation. More general uh, representation of diagonal canonical form is Jordan canonical form. Uh, we are not talking about uh, that particular uh, uh, state space representation. Actually, when you have uh, two eigenvalues uh, at the same location, that is, uh, if uh, instead of two, uh, three here it would be uh, two, then uh, that uh, would have resulted into uh, this matrix to be a block diagonal. So we have uh, learned how to obtain a different canonical form representations of transfer functions. Uh, we have talked about controllable canonical form. We have talked about observable canonical form. We have also discussed diagonal canonical form. So uh, this transfer function has infinitely many different state space representations. Some important state space representations. Uh, we have discussed it uh, on previous slides. You can also utilize a MATLAB to obtain uh, uh, state space uh, representations. Uh, for example, uh, you can simply enter this transfer function in MATLAB by using this command tf. Uh, tf, uh, this command you already know, needs the coefficients of the numerator polynomial and the coefficients of the denominator polynomial. That is written over here. And to convert this system into state space, uh, you can use, uh, there are different uh, commands that can be utilized. For example, this uh, command ss converts this system into state space. Uh, you can obtain uh, canonical form uh, representations. For example, uh, the diagonal canonical form that can be obtained by this MATLAB command canon, uh, which is uh, which requires the arguments uh, this system. Uh, and uh, this model means uh, you want uh, diagonal canonical form representation of this uh, uh, system and uh, to obtain observable canonical form uh, you use this command uh, let's uh, do it uh, with the uh, matlab uh, maybe uh, our system that is uh, uh, this is our uh, transfer function tf uh, the coefficients of the numerator polynomial coefficients of denominator polynomial this is our transfer function and uh, now uh, we want to convert it into uh, state space. So this command uh, state space needs uh, this argument uh, uh, system. Uh, so that will give you state space representation of this uh, system. That is uh, written over here. Uh, system matrix A, input matrix and the output matrix that is written over here as a homework you have to obtain uh, canonical form representations of uh, this particular transfer function.